Hello everyone, and welcome. Today, we're going beyond the typical list of trending AI tools. Instead of just showing you what's popular, I want to pull back the curtain on a professional's daily workflow, the specific stack I rely on to take a machine learning concept from a rough idea all the way to a robust, production-ready system. For the students and hobbyists here, you'll see how foundational concepts connect to real-world applications. For the data scientists and analysts, we'll dive into the tools that bridge the gap between insightful analysis and impactful models. And for my fellow ML engineers, we'll explore the architecture and MLOps principles that ensure our creations are scalable, reliable, and maintainable. This isn't about finding the one best tool. It's about building a cohesive, powerful toolkit and, more importantly, understanding the why behind each choice. Let's begin. Every project begins in the same place, the development environment. This is my digital workshop, where ideas are forged into prototypes. My primary tool is Visual Studio Code. It's more than just a text editor, it's a command center. With integrated Jupyter Notebook support, I can write and execute cells directly within my editor, keeping my exploratory code and production scripts in one place. This tight loop is critical for rapid iteration. For deep, narrative-driven exploration, I switch to a browser-based JupyterLab instance. Its flexible layout is unmatched for building a story with data, mixing markdown, code, and complex visualizations. Underpinning all of this is a strict versioning discipline. Git tracks every code change, which is standard. But for data scientists and ML engineers, the secret weapon is DVC, or data version control. It works alongside Git to version large datasets and models without bloating the repository. Finally, everything runs inside Docker. Using containers ensures that my development environment is identical to my colleagues and, crucially, to the production environment. This practice eliminates the infamous it works on my machine problem before it even starts. This combination forms a reproducible, versioned, and isolated foundation for every project. Once a prototype shows promise, it's time to graduate from my local machine. This is where MLOps platforms become non-negotiable. My go-to for orchestrating complex workflows is Kubeflow. Running on Kubernetes, it allows me to define my entire training process as a portable, scalable pipeline. I can chain together components for data validation, feature engineering, distributed training, and model evaluation, all as code. 